From the outset, we have been highly critical of Toto Wolf's decision to withdraw the Abu Dhabi appeal, as we have set out in previous videos. We contend that, even though, Wolf and Mercedes repeatedly claimed that Hamilton was party to the decision, they nevertheless should have insulated him, at a time when he was obviously in mental turmoil, and gone ahead. Wolf's conduct during that period, including his heavy partying on the night of the robbery, and subsequent staged rueful media appearance, suggested that, he is either suffering from some type of split personality disorder, or had secured some concessions for himself and his wife, for dropping the appeal. At the time of the withdrawal, Mercedes released a statement saying that, they had protested because the safety car regulations were applied in a new way. Furthermore, going forward, they were engaged in a constructive dialogue with the FIA and the F1, to clarify the rules for the future. This statement, which was craftily designed to lend credence to the FIA argument that, Marcy was entitled to do what he did, was a clear signal that Toto Wolff and Mercedes F1 had been nobbled. Nothing for Lewis, not even an apology, reinstated victory or the sacking of Michael Marcy. However, Lewis Hamilton's silence, and the unrelenting public pressure, did not allow the matter to be swept under the carpet, as expected by Liberty Media. The FIA subsequently had to reverse itself, sack Marcy, and dispel any notion that he had the authority to do what he did in Abu Dhabi. The fact that the FIA validated the Mercedes appeal, with regard to the safety car restart, after Mercedes had dropped the appeal, confirms that Toto Wolff was wrong to have withdrawn the appeal. Critically, the fact that the FIA admitted wronging Lewis Hamilton, without the customary apology or restitution, further suggests that they were confident that there would be no pushback from a noble Toto Wolff. To this end, it should be noted that while there are copious references to Toto Wolff trumpeting the importance of the FIA admission of wrongdoing, there are no references to him criticizing the obvious lack of any apology or restitution. Toto's reluctance to criticize the FIA should be viewed in the context of his eagerness to undermine Lewis Hamilton every time he locks horns with the FIA. When Lewis Hamilton accused the FIA stewards of bias, Toto Wolff came out in defense of the FIA. Critically, Toto's public rejection of Lewis's accusation was a complete reversal of his pre-Abu Dhabi position. In a second instance, when the FIA came out with their proposed jewelry clampdown, which is clearly directed at Lewis Hamilton, Toto Wolff was again quick to signal his support for the FIA. It therefore appears that Toto Wolff takes every available opportunity to signal to Liberty Media that he is with them. Liberty Media and their media acolytes now routinely rely on Toto Wolff to provide them with quotes and headlines that they can use in their continuing efforts to drive Lewis Hamilton out of F1.